Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on the second episode. I'll be curious to see what people think about this, because I'm recording this episode the day after the other one. Uh, we're still in safe place, I think it's called? What's that? Wisp level 10. Four and a half thousand health. I don't think I want to mess with that. I don't know if that's actually going to attack me on sight or anything. Oh, there's like a bunch of them. I think... Yeah, I think I shouldn't be exploring too far. Yeah, I don't think I should be exploring too far until I'm a higher level. All right, let's go back to our home village. I like the sound effects in this. Okay, um... Oh, by the way, if you right-click on your tabs here, it sorts them, which is kind of nice. There we go. Safe place rune, and Grandpa's Lucky Trinket. What? What is this? Um, told me it helped him countless times. Something. Sometimes the trinket aids you against your target. Sometimes it does something to you. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that means it could be negative or positive. All right. Well, there's the bear. Uh, all right. What are our quests? We need to ask Fred about Hugo's death. Uh, we need to ask Cardu about the death. Uh, we need 10 pine tree wood. Melon cake. Uh, I heard something about Reese too. I should ask Cardu. Okay, so I need to find Cardu for a few reasons. Okay. So we gotta figure out where Cardu lives. Gotta keep our eye out for some melons. Oh right, we can pick up some tree some apples from this tree, right? Yeah, we learned that from a pear tree earlier. What is that? There's like a crystal. Oh, a bunch of life herbs. I should probably take that too. I think we learned earlier that uh, we can make health potions. We just need a bunch of these life herbs. Oh, there's a, a bag over there. Invisible herbs. Oh. That's weird. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. Oh, am I like wiping the dirt off of it? Oh, okay. No wonder I've been, uh, haven't been able to find the herbs. I was looking in the wrong place. There'd be more specific wrong time. A number of plants are only visible at night. All right. Good to know. Some plants can only be found at night. There's like a weird sound effect that keeps playing. Is it based around this? My skill is too low. I don't know what skill. Mining maybe? I don't know. What's going on down here? It's like a forest fire? No, it's a house, and I can see the torches through the wall. <laughs> Are you Cardu? Uh, you're Fred. Well, I need to talk to you. Hi. Big fellow, he's the kind innkeeper who never gives out free- Here's the kind of innkeeper that never gives out free drinks. Every now and again, there's a fight breaks out, lets them fight for a while, then breaks it up by beating them. Fred, do you remember when Hugo died? Oh god, that's a horrible way to start it. He can increase strength and how to handle a blade. Of course I remember Kid, he's one of my best friends. What do you want? Uh, don't you think it's a little suspicious he fell in the well that he was digging out? Also, they fell in at night when the workers weren't supposed to be working. Yeah, I told Arlo about it, told him years ago that Hugo was not even drunk that night, but he and the others would not listen. I guess I might have had it wrong. He had a few beers. I had a few that night. I know that for sure. Uh, how did I know, you ask? Because every single night I have a few beers. I'm the innkeeper. It's not a big surprise, right, kid? So I don't believe this death was an accident. It was, long, it was a long time ago. Don't you mess with the past, kid. What difference would it make if he jumped in the damn well or was pushed in? He's dead. That's the end of it. He was a good friend. Uh... I might have been wrong. You might have been right about uh, messing with the past. Okay, yeah, he's not going to tell us anything. Now, don't you go down that well. Here's a beer, kid. Oh, he gave me a free beer. Apparently, he doesn't give out free drinks. Well, we got some experience for it. Um, seeking new abilities. What can you teach me? Oh, he teaches me melee moves. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that some other time. No one else is in here? Uh, not that I can see. I get the feeling he might be on the outskirts of town. Because that feels pretty outskirts-ish. Uh, who is that? That is Dudley. Didn't we need to talk to Dudley for something? I feel like we did. Oh, here's the blacksmith shop. I'm kind of getting my bearings again. Uh, right, I think I need to talk to Dudley for something. Is he a pig farmer? 
I'm ready to explore the ruins that we found. Uh, I'm actually not ready. We'll talk to him later. Uh, let's talk to the dude in the pig field. Oh, there's a wisp over there, too. I don't know if those are aggressive. Lots of livestock. Uh, do you need any help? Matter of fact, yes. Uh, can you feed these pigs for me? Just take the corn and put it in the pig's trough. Yeah, sure. Alright, I guess it's to tutorialize me. Do you know about the packs and the fires? You knew the pack very well. Uh, he would never leave the village without saying something. And he's gone with his whole family. It's really strange. Yeah, what about the fire? I have two torches and I've been worrying about them. I knew Aaron would never sell anything that could harm us. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he knows anything. So he gave me some corn. I just need to put it in the trough. Can he really not do that? I guess it's just a tutorial. There you go. Oh god, where are you walking off to? Talk to me. I've done the quest. I did it. I did the really hard quest. I fed your pigs. Smoked pork sausage. Well, that was a really easy uh, meal and experience. Okay, that's Aaron, that's Dudley. Uh, God, I wish it was easier to have their Actually, isn't there a button for that? There we go. Uh, I hit left control and everyone has their name on them now. Philip Jones, Cardu, here we go. And he's got growing melons. Maybe I can buy them off of him. It might be stealing if I just pick them out of his... Uh, out of his yard. He's got a messed up fence, too. The friendly village idiot. Great. Fears things happen to him pretty quickly. If he remembers uh, something, he's sure to, sure to remember incorrectly. Well, time to ask him about important things like Hugo's death. Hugo's my best friend. Yeah, I know. Uh, Hugo's longer with us. Do you remember how he died? He died because of the deep well. It was well that caused him trouble. I hate the well. Yep, he's the village idiot. Uh, what do you mean, uh... The well got him in trouble. Leave me alone, leave me alone, you're not uh, Hugo, great. Well, let's just keep talking to him anyway. Let's harass the poor man. Uh, what happened to your ring? Reese, he stole my ring, he stole my ring, he stole my ring. Right, didn't, um, didn't we go into Reese's house and we got a document that said that, uh, he was trying to sell a ring to somebody, their name started with an A, I think it was. Um, who do you think, st why do you think stole a ring? I told him my ring is valuable. It's blue, you know, and he took it from you. He stole my ring. I'll talk to Reese about the ring. I don't know if I should talk to Reese about the ring. I feel like she I should just check his house. Have you seen or heard anything, Cardu? I know, I know. What do you know? I smoked pork sausage. The smoked pork sausage is my favorite. Never gives me any. Where did I put the deer leg? Have you seen my juicy deer leg? Uh, no, I've not seen it. I do have the smoked pork sausage, though. Uh, your neighbors. Yeah. Play hide and seek sometimes. She might have my deer leg. Please calm down and focus. Great, this guy's awesome to deal with. Where's my deer leg? Oh, God. Okay, I think it's pretty clear that, uh, without deer leg, nothing's happening. Can I just, can I just pick this? Or is he gonna get mad? Oh, I, I just can. Okay, that's all the melons I need. Now, I want to try something here. Let's save. Let's play save. Overwrite, yes. Am I allowed to walk in here and pick up this white bag? My dear leg. Right in front of him, I'm allowed to pick this up. Okay, it's good to know that. Uh, I like to eat. Almost everyone likes to eat, but not everybody likes dear leg. I like dear leg. Okay, so that's his... Wacky character trait, I guess, is he really likes deer leg. Um, guess I just gotta cook up some deer leg and give it to him. Do I have any? Uh, I've baked deer meat, but I don't think it's the leg. Oh, we're actually a little hungry. Here we go. Have some water while we're at it. God, our guy gets uh, hungry and thirsty fast. Smell from the distance. A place up here we haven't seen yet. Uh, you're our childhood friend? No. Good old woman who has a horrible alcoholic husband. I don't know why she's with him. Do you think about the packs? Uh, terrible things are happening. I heard a child's crying. When I ran out, I saw the flames. 
Ran to help as fast as I could, they speared not even a corpse. After the smoke faded, I entered the remains of their home. I need to find where their home is. God, people have like lit torches in the daytime everywhere. Husband's out on the hunt. Yeah, but Pex uh, might be in danger. Yeah, but Rubber will be mad. Rubber sounds like an asshole. It's really heavy. There's writing on it, but I can't read it. I think it's written in ancient language. Please don't tell my husband I gave it to him. Look at this veil. Show it to my grandfather. Okay, so we have a thing to show our grandfather. And did we get two documents there? Well, we got that. Oh, that's just our map. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it's actually in there. I think it's a key item. Yeah, it's a key item. Okay. Well, there's the burned down house. There's no repairing that crap. Um, don't know if we have a reason going there. Oh, Arlo. We need to meet Arlo. He's village t chief, I think. Oh, Rufus. Don't we need to meet Rufus for something? God, this town is bigger than I thought it would be. Do we have Rufus in here? I should give one to Grandpa. Okay. Melon cake, yeah. I like that it checks off things. Oh, apparently this is the main quest now. Um, we're gonna explore Ruin with my friend Dudley. I should go ask him if he's ready to explore. So that's probably like a tutorial combat quest. I need the pine wood. Look in the well where Hugo died. It's in the middle of the village. Okay. I think that's the one outside of uh, Grandpa's house. I'm not sure. Rufus is over there. Okay, so I don't need to talk to Rufus, I guess. I'm gonna talk to Arlo. Because everyone seems to be talking about Arlo. The people escaped to Darkwood. Arlo was appointed the leader. Arlo openly has no faith in the gods of B Balram. I keep wanting to say Balron. And this led to troubles with the other elders. Right after the people started building this village, Kyler gathered those who feared the gods and left to build another village. Arlo never forgave Kyler uh, for separating the people. Arlo spoils his wife with presents, but nevertheless, she looks unhappy. Muddy is their only child. Maybe it's because he named their kid Muddy. Heard about the torches. Believe me, uh, Aaron has nothing to do with the fires. The torch uh, we use in our home didn't start the fire because it, was, it wasn't on the wall that burned. Torches is the only explanation. I had problems with my own torches. You can say that. I told you that our torches in a home had nothing to do with the fire. Someone else started it. Uh, what do you think? How did the fire start your house? I don't know, but I'll find out. When the people escaped to Darkwood, Arlo... Oh, uh, that's just reminding us of who Arlo is. I'm guessing he doesn't really believe in a whole lot of magic in general. If he doesn't believe the gods exist... I mean, he must believe in the magic, though. I mean, literally, I can cast a spell that heals my pet. Grandpa is known as a mage. Like... Clearly he knows magic exists, right? This, is, is it really that far-fetched that he thinks that uh, a bandit may have thrown a fireball? I don't know. Uh, any news about the packs? Sadly, no. All kinds of monsters live in Darkwood. Fox saw a troll the other day. Let's hope for the best for their family. Hey, I saw a bear earlier, and it was scarily close to uh, Grandpa's house. Just a wild bear roaming around. That'll maul him. Uh, back in the world's ruled by bandits. Why did they leave the safe village? Why would they be so cruel and to risk a uh, worse life for their child? If they left the village to go back to their old lives, and that's their decision. We don't know for certain, uh, child. Yeah. Do you know anything about the stone tablet? What are you talking about? Um, I'm not gonna say who found it, because then it's gonna, word's gonna get around and she's gonna get, like, beat by, uh, by her husband. What was the name Robert? I'm just gonna say I found. Trustworthy. Okay. There's some tablet is something written there. Uh, we're trying to translate it. As soon as you have any news, come to me, boy, for the sake of the Pack family. Okay. It's nice to know that he cares. Hey, buddy. Muddy likes to annoy people. I'm not allowed to talk to him. His real name is Oscar. But he forced his parents into calling him Muddy. Hi, so you're the wife? Loving wife of Arlo. She stays quiet, not talkative. Yeah, doesn't look like she wants to talk. Hey, Rufus, what's up? Can you teach me stuff? Rufus never talks. He works and does what you ask him to do and asks for nothing in return, but he never talks. People take advantage of him. Well, that sucks. Who's Myron? I like meeting everybody in these games. Oh, doors closed. Hi, Myron. 
I hate my irony build bully me when I was younger. Now that I've grown up, he doesn't uh, have the guts to try. It'd be fun to fight with him now. I love the I- Jax, would you get out of the way? Oh god, Muddy's following me. I love the idea that I open the door to his house, I walk in, I look at him, think silently about how I hate that guy, and then walk out. Wilson is Arlo's henchman. He acts like a bodyguard when the two leaders of the village meet. Grandpa says Wilson and Arlo fought in many battles together and escaped into the woods. He's a fearless soldier. He taught me how to fight. Okay, so he can teach me how to handle a blade. What does he sell? Looks like he sells some basic armors. We're pretty broke right now. Muddy will stop following me eventually. If he gets mauled by a bear, then that's his fault. Alright, so we gotta hit up the well. We need to give some sausage to Grandpa. Let's get an apple while we're walking by the tree. Does the music sound too loud to you guys, by the way? Uh, just let me know in the comments if you think it's getting too loud compared to the rest of the game. Okay, so this might be the well they were talking about. Um, I'll check that after I talk with Grandpa. So we still have dexterity and intelligence up for being trustworthy. Here you go. Makes the best sausage. Thank you, my son. Oh, that was an easy experience. Need your help, Grandpa. Uh, what do you need help with? Again, I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying that she found it. Oh, it refreshed trustworthy, probably for not, uh, betraying her word. Put on the table, son. Never see anything like it. Interesting, it looks like the fire didn't damage the stone tablet at all. It's as if, um, someone had put it in the debris on purpose after the fire. It's a stone, an ancient stone tablet, but the writing is on it is still fresh. Who or what made this? I might be able to read the text, but I need some time. And how did it end up in the Pax house? I don't know, hope you can read it. Give me some time. Ask Brown if he knows anything about the tablet. Okay. So I can go get- Whoa, I leveled up. I feel warmth and my health has increased. Level up. I have received six learning points. I should visit teachers to learn new spells and improve my skills. Okay, so people around the village can let me spend those learning points along with money. Okay. Choose what attribute you'd like to increase. So I can increase one attribute? I want dexterity. Makes me more accurate with my attacks, better at dodging, and better crit chance and damage, I believe, on my uh, ranged attacks. Okay, well, let's go hit up this well. Okay, well, that refilled my water, and right-clicking it doesn't do anything. I don't think that's the well they're talking about. They said it's in the center of town. I wish I could zoom in on this map, but I guess center of town's this direction? Because I think we're on the eastern outskirts of town. Where's a well? Hey, Cardu. Um, muddy. Okay, so there's the, the pack house. Old shrine. Oh, that must be the well. Why don't we have little paved roads? Oh, I can donate to the shrine. That probably gives me blessings or something. Hey, Edith. Um, I'm just going to check out the well. I can climb into it? Oh, I can't see anything down here. Uh, T for torch. Boo. I guess it's the name of a rat. This must be like the first dungeon. Interesting. Can I go in here? Yeah. Oh. That's the way out, okay. I don't have a reason to fight the rat. Uh, that's not a door? Those look like doors. Huh, let me zoom in a little. I'm not really seeing anything. I just see this rat. He has a lot of health. Maybe I need to kill him. That's a big rat. He's not aggressive. See, this really looks like a door. There's like a path over there. Do I need to like activate a skill? I have a lockpick, don't I? A sturdy lockpick? And uh, while I'm down here, how am I doing on food? I'm fine. What would that be under? Armors and trinkets, weapons and tools. It's a tool. Automatically used. Okay, so I don't activate this by hand. I can't seem to interact with these doors at all. 
Unless there's like a button command I'm unaware of. Hmm. I get the feeling that rat might drop an item that gives us a clue. We'll come back here later, maybe when I've leveled up again or learned something from a traitor. So I need to talk to Reese. I need to talk to Dudley. And I need to talk to Ida, I believe it is. She's the farmer lady, right? Is she the one who wants to cook a melon cake? No. No, she is the farmer, but she doesn't want to teach me how to cook anything. I think it was the lady on the west side of town that wanted to teach me, right? Uh, Arda. Arda wants to teach me how to make this cake. Arda and Edith live together. Right, Arda's the mother of my childhood friend. I'm actually really kind of getting into this game. Here are the melons. I stole them from the village idiot. Nice and ripe and green. Come back tomorrow. Okay. Sweet. And I'm just going to take this from your house. How to make dough and delicious tea recipe. Thank you. I'm going to leave your door open. I hope you don't mind. I mean, you should mind, but I don't think you will. Too dark. I'm going to... I'm going to do this. Oh, we have no lighting. Right, we don't have any kind of lighting in here. I'm gonna close my door. I'm gonna sleep in our house for the night. Sleep till morning. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna- oh my god. Wow, that's full of spiders. I probably just traumatized half the viewers. I'm in a nightmare. I mean, if they're not hostile, I'm not fighting them because that's, they're level 10. Do I need to get to the crystal in the middle? Is this like a mini game? Skills too low. I don't fight them, do I? This is really fascinating. I'm gonna zoom out a little so I can really see what's going on. Can I light a torch? Hmm. I can, but I don't feel like I really need to. Can I do anything over here? No. Do I go to the spider web? Gold ore and stone. I wonder if I'll keep this stuff when I wake up. That's actually really interesting. Apparently I can interact with these bones. My cursor goes green when I'm over them. I found nothing. Oh, I think I'm... Oh god. I'm just not gonna move until they move. I think I need to search the bones. Broken bone added to inventory. Search it again? I can't. Okay. Okay, let's do these north ones. Man, this is creepy. Bone added. Wonder if I need to, like, assemble a skeleton to leave. Okay. Is that a stone I can break? I'm using numpad to control here. Oh, I got a lot from that. Salt and topaz. piece of bone. God, this is creepy. Another bone. How do I wake up from the nightmare? Huh. Do I need to fight them? Are we getting hungry in here? Do we actually get hungry in the nightmare? It doesn't seem like it. Our hydration and fed level are pretty high. Are there no consequences in our sleep? Could I fight them? I'm guessing if I die, I wake up. Can we use our rune? We cannot use the safe place rune. This is absolutely fascinating to me. 
And we we still can't interact with the with the gem? Just double check. Skill's too low. I wish I knew what skill I need for that. I'm guessing mining. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't stand a chance against these unless there's like some kind of special effect going on, you know? Is that Spider-Man sitting completely still up there the whole time? No, it does move. I was wondering if there's like a special spider I need to look for. Is there a specific one that... Uh, just like clicking buttons to see if... Is there like a specific spider I need to find? That's called something different and I need to hit that one? They're all moving around which makes it really difficult. This is so fascinating to me. This is such a cool game. God, it's creeping me out. I'm afraid of spiders. These ones don't look realistic enough to really freak me out. But still. I think I've interacted with everything I can interact with. Okay. Okay, that one's moving now. Alright, I'm gonna pick a fight. Whoa! All right. Too dark. Nothing's in the room with me. Where's Jax? Recall? Must have been outside. Morning. Want to sleep till morning. Okay. Put out the torch. Extremely dehydrated. Whoa, whoa, hey. It's fine, we got a pond right here. Extremely dehydrated. All you did was sleep, dude. You're so thirsty that you're taking damage? Alright, uh. There, fully hydrated. Fill up the water. There you go. Man, that was absolutely fascinating to me. Wow. Okay, uh, let's go back. Did that? Oh, what's this? Your pet's been dismissed automatically. You can recall your pet by opening the panel. Oh, I don't know why it got dismissed. I want Jax with me. Okay, um... Right, I guess we can go get that cake now and then maybe we'll end the episode there. Hard in, Edith. Well, there's a little note in Philip's house, apparently. Hey, talk to me. Here for the cake. Smells great. Here you go. I'm happy that worked out. Okay, so she can also teach cooking, just like uh, the neighbor lady. There we go. Interesting that I can't auto walk through my pet, but if I manually walk up to him, he'll get out of, the, out of my way. Oh, Brown lives up here. Brown and Sam. Right, they're the alchemy plays. Yeah, apparently I can- Oh, Sam the skeleton! Oh, that's cool! Can I talk to Sam? Hi, Sam! I have no problems with Sam. He doesn't do much. People think that Brown knows black magic, and that's why Sam helps him. I like Sam already. Sam the friendly skeleton. He should probably put the sword down, though, when he's just walking around. Brown is sleeping. Oh, I'll leave him alone if he's asleep. I'll come back later. Oh, that seems like a decent time to end the episode. Fertility bad. Looks like he has his own yard where he grows his own uh, mushrooms, probably for potion making. Alright, um, so we need pine wood. We need to talk to Reese. That's right. Well, we know Reese is a troublemaker. Next episode, we're going to talk to Reese. Until next time, have a nice day. <laughs>